Ow. Having this much hair is a blessing and a curse. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. This is a hair tutorial that I'm doing. You know, a couple people asked me to do this. I'm not gonna say like everyone wanted to know. A few people were like, hey, what's up with the curled hair? How do you do it? So here we are. This is a very long-winded version of how I do my curly hair. So sit back, grab a glass of water. It's the new year, let's hydrate. It's snack, whatever you kind of need, just hit pause and Go get that, maybe kick your feet up, whatever. But yeah, get whatever you need, hang out, and learn how I do my big bouncy curls. And yeah, just enjoy. Brace yourselves, here we go. Hello, good morning, how's it going? So I just got out of the shower, put on my shirt, a little makeup, whatever. And now I'm going to blow dry my hair. So I will show you here what products I normally use in the shower, um, just shampoo, conditioner. My conditioner I normally use is at school, so this is just kind of like a temporary conditioner that I'm using at home. Yeah, it smells good though, it's yummy. So when I first hop out of the shower, normally I let my hair air dry, but I always put something in it, but yeah. Most of the time I let it air dry. I don't love putting blow dryer on it because I already know I'm gonna use heat later, so I try to normally not do that. But for now, I'm going to be using this. There's a couple different things I can use when I get out of the shower, just to put my hair like rock and oil, whatever. But today I'm gonna to be using this one, Amika. I really like how it smells. It makes my hair super shiny, especially when I am blow drying it. So I just use like the tiniest little amount and put it through my hair. So yeah, like I'll blow dry my hair if I have an event, if I'm going out, or just something that I am kind of crunched for time on. But normally I would just I brush my hair out and let it sit and air dry for a while because I just normally, I prefer to not blow dry it if I don't have to. And my hair is super thick, but it's also fine. So it's like thick, but it's kind of thin little pieces, you know? And I highlight it probably two, three times a year, a lot of highlights. And then between that, just kind of here and there, um, I'll do partials, I'll just do a little bit of brightening at the root, whatever it may be. My natural hair color is brown, as crazy as that is. Like right now, even you can see my roots a little bit. Um, my natural hair color, so. What? Okay, so I just kind of brush through my hair. Since it is so fine, it gets tangled a lot. Once I brush it all through and blow dry it, it'll be better. It's just when it's wet, it's kind of tricky. As for blow dryers, I have tried a couple things over the years. I kind of don't mind what blow dryer I use. I'm not really picky on that. However, so I just started trying this out, which is like one of those hairbrush blow dryer things. And so far I really like it. So I've only used it a couple times. I'm gonna test it out again here today. Um, I mean, it just does the same thing as a normal hair dryer, but it's like, it's also brushing your hair, so it's probably good for you. Okay, so I am going to just try this out. My hair has dried a tiny bit, which is nice, so it's not soaking wet right now. And I'm just going to kind of blow it out dry first and then go in and start kind of curling the bottoms under and more like smooth, you know what I'm saying? So like halfway in, I'm gonna stop brushing my hair again and just like give it a second to like mingle. That probably doesn't do anything, but it's just like a little extra. I also just don't like blow drying. It's just not fun. The thing is with blow drying your hair, your hand hurts, the like wrist and like forearm hurts. It's really hot and like uncomfortable and it's just not my favorite thing to do. So I'm not a huge blow dryer, but I feel like I've said this before in a video, it's like overwhelmingly warm. And I mean, yeah, it looks fine. Some people like have to blow dry their hair every time. Eh. I'm not that way because I just don't enjoy it and it's very difficult for me. But I need to go grab a, a green tea because I kind of need like a mid blow dry refresh. So I'm gonna go get a green tea. I'll meet you back here in like five. Got myself a green tea 
Celsius drink with some natural caffeine in there. So, whoo, watch out. Normally I don't do this, but I'm gonna clip it up today. Because also normally I'm not blow drying my hair in a sweater. That is it, blow dried, not straightened, nothing. It kind of looks the same whether I blow dry with a normal dryer or with that tool I just used because either way I'm using a brush. This is kind of the end result of that. With this large clip there, ow. As for curling irons, I always use one and a half inch. I don't really care what brand. I had my Hot Tools curling iron for 15 years. And by that I mean my mom had it gave it to me and it lasted all that time. So, use this, this is a Conair, and I don't know. I, I, well, don't use this. I would use a Hot Tools. I'll link below, so this is the drugstore version and then there's other versions, so I could link both. They both get the job done. I am going to begin to curl my hair, which is the whole point of this video. But I grab about that much hair. What is that, an inch maybe? And a bunch, of, a bunch of curls I do different ways. So some of them I'll, I'll show you. So some of them towards my face kind of I'll clamp at the top and then I'll slowly kind of roll it down. You know what I'm saying? And then I'll like gently let go. So that's a little more gentle. Other times I will, again, grab like an inch-ish. Other times I clamp at the bottom and roll up. And so I probably like alternate these throughout my whole head. I don't like every curl to look the same. First off, if you don't have a ton of volume naturally in your hair, or your hair isn't super thick, definitely blow dry it. Hate to say it, sorry. That was me backing up a little bit. Yeah, if you don't have a ton of volume in your hair, start with that. I'll also show you some more little tricks as we go on. So for example, I like how this one has a curl right by my eye. But this one's a little flat, so I'll just go back in. It doesn't have to be the exact piece you grab, it doesn't matter and I'll just kind of hold it up top just a second more and then I'll slide it down. Yeah. So, I just made it a little more fluff, you know? So this one I'm clamping at the top, twisting, just kind of pulling all the way straight down. Sometimes I wrap back up with it. Like, I'll do everything under the sun. But see, that one's like so different than the others. It just looks nice to have a mix. I would say I started learning to curl my hair like this by I was watching so many YouTube videos on how to curl your hair like a Victoria's Secret angel. That was like my thing that I wanted to learn. I always thought they had the most beautiful hair. They always had these kinds of curling irons. All right, then sometimes I wrap around like that and then just close it. I swear to you, I do so many different ways <laughs> in one head. Because I think it looks more beachy, natural, whatever. And then sometimes I'll hold it right before it falls. It's also something I learned from the Victoria's Secret videos. And like that one looks crazy, but once you brush it out, it's gonna look great. bottom layers are pretty much done so now I'm just going to do this top layer of my hair so probably starting off with like these back here and I feel like this is general knowledge but definitely always try to curl away from your face um, if there's a few pieces that are going towards your face it doesn't matter but the ones that are right in front should definitely be going away so if you could tell the theme to this hair is just like variety basically like not having identical curls all over your head they're just all pretty different so as I come up higher to my face, I try to do these big kind of cylinder, almost like 70s style curls, which also are a little bit kind of Victoria's Secret-esque. This very last strand here, I'm just going to immediately curl it outward here. 
Just keep curling kind of in the cylinder and very gently let it go. Yeah, so that just kind of brought the volume back up in the back a little bit. So now, you just go ahead and go back and do those little guys, those little stragglers, you know? <sighs> and just relax. You're like, whoo, almost done. After we do this next step, you might need to go back and fix a couple pieces, but that's fine. So I've been like so tempted to do this the whole time. So you just start combing it through with your fingers, shaking it up side to side, whatever. And that's what makes it kind of more relaxed, but still big curls. It's like even these in the front, you can pull them down a little if they look too big for you. Yeah, this is kind of the basic part of the curl. And I'll tell you what I add in after this. So even if your hair is fresh out of the shower, clean, whatever. This part makes me cringe a little, especially when I just washed my hair. Like today, I put dry shampoo in it. So this is the Beach Babe texturizing. It kind of smells like coconut. Um, so this stuff I use every day. You can get a pack of two on Amazon. Oh yeah, toasted coconut. You can get a pack of two on Amazon for, I don't know, cheaper than in store. So I just take it and really start just going in with it, kind of all over. Especially when I don't blow dry my hair, I do this. Or if I'm curling like dirtier hair or like day old hair. This side has dry shampoo. This side doesn't. So this is a lot more calm. And this one's a lot more fluffy, but that's just how I like to do my curls. So I just use this to kind of like, literally just fluff it up a little. And then hairspray wise, I will use anything. I kind of don't care what brand. But yeah, this is kind of the finished product of my hair. And it's fun if you want to leave a couple pieces down and do a half up, you know, like pin it up. You can do a pony. You can kind of do whatever you want with this. If you have any like questions, whatever about this, definitely comment down below and hopefully I can help you figure that out. One and a half inch iron, dry shampoo, blow dry if your hair doesn't have a lot of volume. I'm not going to do it right now, but if you want kind of looser waves, whatever, you can use this, all of these same steps. And then instead of using your fingers, don't use a brush like this. You use one of those brushes with like, they're more closer together than these, like they're not spread out. And then just kind of brush over your hair, like really gently. Um, what am I saying? Oh, if you brush over your hair really gently, it gets those kind of Hollywood glam waves, whatever. If you liked this video, thumbs up. If you didn't, also thumbs up. Please subscribe. Tell your family, tell your friends, tell them all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.